All right, guys, I want to talk to you for a little bit about one of my favorite knife companies out there, and that is the Spyderco Knife Company. I wanted to show you uh, the Spydercos that I have, and I'm definitely not a knife collector, but these are the Spydercos that I have, and a couple of them have sentimental value to me, especially this one here that you're looking at that's really torn up. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why that's very sentimental to me, and I'll always keep that. But I just wanted to go over some things with you about these knives. Uh, they're not really expensive, and there's a lot of good knife companies out there, guys. But I just wanted to talk about Spyderco in general and why I like Spyderco myself. So first of all, I'll tell you guys what I carry in EDC every single day, and that is this Spyderco Delica. As you can see, there is a lot of wear and tear on this knife. It's definitely been put through the paces, needs resharpened again right now. And I just cleaned this all off too before the video. But uh, number one main reason that I like Spyderco so much is guaranteed easiest, to me, my opinion, easiest one-handed opening knife on the market. Because no matter what I've ever done, I've always been able to easily access that Spyderco hole to open the knife easily. Always. So every time you get this out of the pocket, you go right to that. Uh, I've had knives with thumb studs where you had to be at a certain position on the thumb stud or it wouldn't push, push out if you were up too high on it or down too low. You had to be just right with a Spyderco knife, any angle. Let me tweak my wrist around here. You can see here that any angle, I'm pretty much good to open this knife. That's one of my number one reasons of why this Spyderco rides with me every day. Guys, uh, let me know. I only changed like two things, but if you want an updated EDC video, let me know and I'll do one next on, I'll show you like the pants I wear and what I carry and in what pockets and I'll put it all out on the table. Let me know if you want that. Number two, let me know what do you think of the quality of this video. I'm using uh, studio lights that they use in like television commercials and just let me know if you think it's better. Um, I'm not using like a real expensive camera, but lighting is key. Okay, anyway, so here's a Spyderco Delica. That's my EDC knife. This is another knife that I sometimes switch out with. And I did EDC this one for a while and then went back to this one. But this is the Spyderco Endura Blackout. Now this, when I got this, it only came with partially serrated. I'm not really a fan of partially serrated knives, but that is what this one came with if you wanted it all black, which means uh, the lock bar's black, the screws and hardware are black, everything on it is all black. Now the pocket clip's wearing off, which is normal, but um, I really like this knife, guys. It really fits good in my hands, and I'm really a big fan of this knife. I'm not for sure now if you can get it with a plain edge blade, but at the time I bought this, that's all they were offering was partially serrated in the blackout version. Okay, let's go to this one. This is my sentimental knife, one of them, and I'm gonna tell you why. As you can see, this knife is really tore up here. The blade's fine. This is a Ladybug Salt Orange. This is basically made of a steel that's called H1, and it will not rust. The steel will not rust. And I bought this many years ago, I think in 2009. Well, I was doing a video in 2010 for YouTube and I had this knife on my lap. And when I stood up to start putting things away, when I was done with the video, this knife fell on the floor in the closed position. Okay, at that time, uh, Goro is 10 years old now. At that time, Goro was just a puppy and when I left the living room, this knife was laying on the floor, and Goro, being the rambunctious pup that he was, still rambunctious to this day, what he did was he went and got this knife on the living room floor, and he, he, he held it with his paws, and he chewed on it. He just took with the side of his, like if this is his muzzle, and this is the front where his nose is, he took it and held it with his little paws and gnawed on the side of it like this um, until it got down to where the point started kind of scratching the inside of his mouth. That's how he always chews on stuff. He holds it between his paws like that. But he gnawed on it until this point started to jab him in his mouth and then he let it go. So later on, I come into the living room. 
I see something on the floor and I pick it up and I'm like, what in the world? And Gor Goro's over in the corner laying flat down, flat out, you know, with his legs out, kicked out of his, out of, out of the back like a frog. And he's just looking at me out of the corner of his eye. And I was like, boy, what'd you do? And this was one of my favorite knives. So uh, this is a knife that's sentimental to me. I keep it put away because when Goro was a pup, he chewed on that and I'll always keep that. Okay, this knife is a special knife too. Uh, this is the, this is another ladybug, and it's the ZDP 189 steel version. And then I bought this Kydex sheath on eBay off of a random seller. I just looked it up on there, and I bought that little sheath for it. And uh, this is a really neat little knife, guys, because it's got that upgraded steel in it. A little bit harder to open than the bigger ones, but the ZDP 189 steel. And guys, this thing is a scalpel. This little thing is a scalpel. So I really like this, guys, the little ladybug ZDP-189. It only comes in this. I think this is called the British Racing Green color. And, yeah, I really like that little knife, guys. And the little sheath is kind of cool, too. You could wear it as a neck knife if you put something through there. You can put it on your keychain. Lots of things you can do with the little sheath that comes with it. Let's see what else. This is the box for one of these. This is the box for the Delica. And this is the box for the Endura. Okay, this is another knife, guys. It's sentimental to me. And the only reason is, is because this was given to me by my cousin as a gift at this last year's uh, Christmas gift exchange that we had where we picked names out of a hat. And this is what he got me. It's another Delica, which I really love. But what's weird is he didn't know I was wanting this. But what I wanted was I wanted a fully serrated uh, Spyderco. I didn't know which model I was going to get. But I like the Spidey Edge, and I'd wanted to. I'd been thinking about adding another one to the collection. He gave me this for Christmas. I opened the box. I seen it was a Delica, and I'm going crazy. Um, I'm laughing. All the family's laughing because they seen me open the box with this Delica, and then they seen this was the same knife inside. So I just open it, look at the box, open the box, see it's a Delica, put it away. We're all laughing. It wasn't until I got home that I actually took the knife out, opened it, and saw that it was fully serrated, and my, my jaw dropped. I'm like, I had no idea. And this is what I actually wanted was a fully serrated spider co. So that's another uh, sentimental knife that I have there in the collection that I'll definitely uh, put into use. Another thing I'll show you guys, too. Guys, I use this all the time. This gets used, beat, and abused. I never baby it. I do all kinds of stuff with it that you probably shouldn't do with a knife. I beat on this thing, and look, not one millimeter of side-to-side -side or up-and-down play since I've had this. At least two years now. Uh, probably more, probably more like three years. Okay, so that's that one. Then let's go on to this one. Now, this is something kind of odd. I've always just kept this in the box. I bought this three years ago before I got my new house, when I was going through the process of getting my house, buying a house, and I'm the house I'm in now. And I've just kind of kept this as a keepsake, something I remember, because right as I was going through the paperwork and processes of getting this house, I remember I ordered this, this knife online. It was probably one of the last purchases uh, before moving into my new home uh, that I got from the last place I lived. And what this is, is this is a Spyderco Endura. Here, I'll show you the thing. It's the flat ground, full flat ground uh, gray. And the re mainly the reason I wanted it is because I really like this handle scale color. It's kind of an odd off color gray. You don't see this a lot. And I really like the subdued gray look on there. And this is just really... A nice knife, and I like the how the pocket clip, which this paint always wears off, not a big deal to me, but I like the black against that. I think it really looks nice and really makes it stand out. So this is a brand new Endura, and guys, look, just look, now that I got good lighting, let me see if I can show you that edge. Yeah, look at that edge. Look, it looks, it looks hot white. Look at that edge. Amazing. Just like, like a scalpel, once again. So there it is, guys, my Spyderco knives. Let me know what you think. Uh, Kershaw's good knives. There's a lot of good knives out there, guys. I couldn't even go through the listing if I tried. But if you want a good knife and you're really not like into guns and gear, you're new to this stuff, and you're saying, hey, uh, DOF, what should I get? Recommend a good pocket knife for me. Not jewelry, not something to show off. 
give me something that I can beat, use every day, and carry everywhere I go. And right here is what I would tell you. Get a Spyderco full flat ground Delica. This thing will last you for years. Uh, if you want them to sharpen it, send it back, pay for shipping. They sharpen it, quick turnaround time. They'll oil it. You know, anything is wrong with it, they will hook you up at Spyderco. If anything breaks on it, you might get a little fee, but you send a knife back, they'll take care of you. So right here, guys, that would be one of my top recommendations. If you just said, look, I just want a knife I can use every day, this would be the Spyderco Delica. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. And until next time, this is DOF and I am out.